Hey guys, Pogo here, and welcome to the next episode of the Survival Games miniseries. In this episode, the second part of the commands part of the plugin, we're going to write the next two commands. We've already written the commands for creating and removing arenas. Now we're going to write the ones for adding spawns and adding um, chests. Then in the next video, we'll write the join and leave commands, and then we should be ready to move on to the listeners and some of the other interesting things. So first off, we'll go ahead and write the add spawn and add chest commands. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a new class. Uh, we'll call the first one add spawn. Actually, before we do that, let's head over to arena because there's one thing that I need to add. We have um, the spawns, but we also need an array list of type chest called chests. And the chest that you want to import would be the block, not the material. And then we're going to go ahead and, since I'm lazy, copy this chests. And we're going to call this chest ID. And then it's going to be an ID.chests. We're going to say chests dot add or actually we need to say location lock is equal to settings manager dot get arenas dot location get id dot chests dot chest id and then this also needs to be chest. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're going to load in all of the chests from the configuration file. So first of all, we load in um, the chest ID. Uh, we go through each um, stored chest. We get the location. Um, if lock.getBlock is not equal to null, or really what we want to say... Okay, so if it's not equal to null... Um, you know, we're just going to say this. So if lock.getBlock is equal to null, or lock.getBlock.getType, um, or, sorry, .getBlock.get, what is it called? Get state instance of chest, then settings manager dot get instance uh, dot set id dot chests dot chest id to be null else chest dot add chest um lock dot get block dot get uh dot get Sorry, I'm kind of tired right now. Dot get state. That's it. Okay, sorry. Okay, so what we're doing here is we go to load in each one. Uh, so we go through each location that contains the chest, and if that, and if the block there is null, or if it's not a chest, so if you remove the block, or if you change the block, um, then we obviously want to remove that from the list of all of the chests. Um, otherwise, we can add that, and then we obviously want to do the cast, and make sure, again, that you use org.bucket.block.chest. You want the block version, not the material version. Uh, okay, good. So, add spawn. This is going to extend game command which means that it needs to have its method, the onCommand method, and it also needs um, command info annotation. So, let's just copy this since I'm bored. Or, I don't know. We're just going to copy this because I'm lazy. So we're going to say add a spawn to an arena then the usage is going to be arena name, so whatever the name of the arena is, 
um, and then add spawn or a s, I suppose. Okay, so um, if args dot length is equal to zero, because we need exactly one argument, send message chat color dot red, and then we'll say um, you must specify an arena, or you must specify the arena to which the spawn will be added. So, error message and return. We can then go ahead and say string arena ID is equal to args zero. If arena manager dot get instance dot get arena for or we can just say args zero. So if it's equal to null, so if it doesn't exist, then we want to send them a message. Um, let's see which message we used. This one, an arena with that name does not exist. So we want to keep it, we want to use kind of the same messages um, for continuity. Okay, good. So now we can say arena A is equal to arena manager dot get instance dot get arena for r zero. So now we have the correct arena and we want to go ahead and add the spawn. Okay, so let's just go ahead and be a little bit lazy. And we're gonna write a public void add spawn location lock. First of all, it's going to use spawns dot add lock. So we're first going to add this to all the spawns, but then we of course need to save it. And we'll go ahead and do the saving. Well, here. We'll just do the saving out. So we'll do the saving right here. So we're first so we'll say a dot add spawn. Or not add player. Add spawn bp dot get location. Then we're going to say, um, sorry, not for loop. Settings manager. Okay, so first of all, I'm getting a little bit caught up. Okay, the way that we're going to save these is, um, so we're going to have, let's say, arena, or actually we don't even have that. We just have um, ID uh, and then spawns. And then for each one, we're going to use numbers. It'll start at zero. And then it'll have the X, Y, Z, whatever. Then one, and then that'll have the X, Y, Z, and whatever, and so on and so forth. So the way that we can easily do this is we can say in size is equal to um, settings manager dot get arenas dot get, um, and then the ID is going to be a dot get ID dot spawns uh, dot get keys false and then this we want to be a configuration section import that and dot get keys false dot size so what we're doing here um, and the reason why this works is let's say that spawns is empty so when it goes to get the size it will go to um, in the get arenas it will go to a dot get ID which would be ID dot spawns then it would get the keys and then it would get the size of all of the keys now in this case it would be zero so we go ahead and create um, XYZ whatever at position zero the next time I go to run it it would go to ID dot spawns and the size would be one so then this size integer would be one and then it would go ahead and use one the next time I run it, it would go to ID and then spawns, and there are two items here, so the size would be two. So then I could go to two, and then have X, Y, Z, and so on and so forth. So this in size is going to be the key that we use. So we're going to say settings manager dot get arenas dot set. Path is going to be a dot get ID dot spawns dot size two p dot get location. 
and then that should automatically put all of the information uh, in. If it doesn't, then we'll fix it later. And then let's just clean this up a little bit like that. Oh, never mind. We need this. Okay. And we'll take this out because we don't need that. We can do that. Okay, so now we've written the add spawn command, uh, which will add a spawn. It first makes sure that we know which arena, then it makes sure that the arena exists, then it grabs the arena, adds a spawn to the list of all the spawns, and then it saves it into the configuration file. And as far as the chests, it's going to be pretty much the same thing, except instead of storing a location, we're storing, or the player's location, like p.get location, we're going to actually be storing. Uh, the location, excuse me, we're going to be storing the location of the chest, which will involve um, the block at which the player is looking and whether or not it's a chest and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and copy this because I'm lazy and we'll call this um, add chest. So we first need to say add a chest to an arena, arena name, add chest, and then that would be a C. So we, of course, need this to make sure with the chest. And then an arena with that name does not exist. That's all fine. And then this stuff we're going to change later. But first, we need to do a couple of checks. So we're going to say block um, target is equal to p.getTargetBlock null and let's say 10. So I've gone over this before, but basically what it does is it gets the target block. And this um, null, which um, is a hash set of bytes, is I believe the um, the blocks to ignore. So if, um, so if let's say that I'm looking straight at a block of glass, I could, I could choose to ignore blocks of glass and then... Um, if the block of glass is the closest thing, it would ignore and it would go to the second closest thing. Not terribly important. And then 10 is the distance, so it'll have to be within 10 blocks. You don't want to make it too big or else they might run the command and be looking at a block that's really far away and then set it up and, you know, it could get confusing. So 10 is usually a good number. So if target um, is equal to null, if it doesn't um, exist, uh, or if they're like looking straight up at the sky, then we want to tell them you are not looking at a block. And also quickly, I think over in add spawn, yeah, let's just clean this up a little bit. We're going to say arena A is equal to arena manager dot get instance dot get arena arg zero. Then if A is equal to null, then okay. All we all I just did there was remove some of the overhead because before I called this get arena method two times and you know this would obviously go through all the arenas so if you had a lot of arenas you know it's just more cost effective cost in terms of processing power costs not terribly important and I'd probably go into a concept like that in a different video okay so we know that they are at this point looking at a block so we're going to say if this might be wrong I might not be I might not want to use the state I might want to use the block itself we're gonna say um if not target dot get state instance of chest then we want to tell them that they're not looking at a chest so you could be looking at any other block but if it's not a chest block then it doesn't count so we can then say chest chest is equal to chest block, or not block, but target, target dot get state. And then we want to say, uh, we want to write an add chest method that takes in the chest. And then we want to set this dot chests. And then this will obviously also change chest. So it's going to do the same thing with the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that I explained before. And instead of p.getLocation, it's going to be chest.getLocation. So we're storing the location of the chest. And now let's quickly go ahead and write public void add chest. 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 Um, chest.add. Chest. Okay. Good. Um, and then as far as this thing... Um, with the yellow line, you can just um, do the suppress warnings thing. 
Because as far as I'm concerned, there was no um, method that was written to replace this. It was marked as deprecated, um, but I've never heard of a method that you're supposed to use instead of this. So, I don't know. Alright, so that's all for this video. Let's just quickly register the commands. Um, this will be a new add chest and a new um, add spawn. And import both of those. Okay, good. So, that is all for this video. We wrote two more commands. Uh, command for adding a spawn and adding a chest. Those will obviously very, be very important with setting up the arenas. In the next video, we're going to try to join and leave commands, which will be very simple. Uh, but then we're going to have to work on like the internals of the arena class, which is right now very, very bare. We need to have you know the whole countdown system. Uh, we also have to write a bunch of listeners uh, that handle all of the different possible events. And... I think that's about good. So as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. And I'll see you guys soon with some more uh, coding videos. Bye, guys.